you don't need to be 100% certain to make a good decision. I have been thinking a lot recently about how we communicate uncertainty in science, both within science and out to the public. So I've been reading as many papers and books as I can on the topic, and this one has been pretty great. And there are two examples in here that I think are just so smart and so useful. The first example the authors give is, if you see that the local weather forecast is predicting a 95% chance of rain, would it be smart to take an umbrella? I think many of us would answer, yeah. There might be other things that influence that decision, right? Maybe you don't have space in your bag for an umbrella, maybe you already have an umbrella at your office, but even though you are not 100% certain that it's going to rain, it would probably still be a good decision for you to take that umbrella with you. The second example they give is, you have just purchased a lottery ticket for the Mega Millions lottery. The odds are overwhelmingly in favor of you losing. It would be unwise for you to quit your job and start planning an extravagant vacation in anticipation of your winning. So in this example, you are not 100% certain that you won't win the lottery, right? If you buy a ticket, you do have a small chance of winning the lottery, but it would be an unwise and not good decision for you to just suddenly quit your job before you had won that, right? So they say in both cases, certainty is not required for you to make a good decision. We face uncertainty at every turn in our daily lives, yet we make good decisions based on the evidence that we have. And this is really interesting to me because I think it's something that we all kind of know that we don't need to be 100% certain in order to make a good decision. And yet sometimes it's hard to apply that to new scenarios. It may be very easy for many of us to take an umbrella with us without 100% certainty, but it may be harder to do something like take a vaccine without 100% certainty. Certainty and uncertainty and the language around it and how we communicate that is like one of the biggest things on my brain right now. And yeah, I just wanted to share these two examples because I think they're a good start for discussion.